Leila Hussain, you're an FMG survivor, leading anti-FMG, -F -F yeah, it's, FMG. It's, it's FGM, female Sorry. genital mutilation. It's FGM, oh, female genital mutilation. GM? Yeah. I've got MG here. No, FM it's F FGM. Are you sure? Yeah, it's female genital mutilation. Well, I've heard a lot of people say FMG. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people say it, but that's not correct. But they're wrong. They, they're, they're very wrong. It's, Are you sure? No, I'm, it's FGM. I'm sure I heard Michael Gove say FMG. I'm sure you, you know. Yeah. I'm oh, no, sorry about that. FGM. I'm going to have it's to F change it yeah. all the way it's through. It's female genital mutilation. Not, mu not mutilated genitals? No, no, no. It's sorry, female genital get... mutilation. Right, we shouldn't get yep. down it's in It's FGM, not FMG. Okay. I'm sure you're right. I'll, I'll just... Okay. F... Sorry, what is it again? FGM. Okay. FGM. M, yes. <sighs> Should make it, you know. Leila Hussain, you are an FGM. No, okay. I'm an anti-FGM campaign. I'm not an FGM. Oh, no, not for it, no. No, no, I'm against it. You're against yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. OK, sorry. Leila, thanks so much for talking to me today. You are an FGM survivor, an anti-FGM campaigner and activist. Right. You are a member of the FGM... No. FGM. Anti... -F the FGM... FMG. No, it's anti-FGM campaign. So, yeah, I'm a campaigner who fights against this practice. Is there more than one? More than one what? Campaign. I mean, there are different organisations who are working on it, and okay. I happen to be one of those campaigners. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, there's loads of us out there. Is there? Yes. I'm really glad that you were available today, because so of all the people I asked, you, you're the only actual survivor, so I was really glad that you didn't have anything else. To no, do, th th there are other survivors out there who speak out. I'm not the only one. Oh, is it yeah, not yeah, yeah. just you? Oh, no, 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 I'm not the only one. Oh, sorry, yeah. I didn't realise. Well, I because I really tried to get Bono. He He's in Bono. France, in Cannes, collecting a big humanitarian award. But Bono, so, the U2 singer? Bon Bono, the U2 singer. Bono? Is it Bono or Bono? Bono People say Bono. different things. But is that the person what? you're talking about? Yeah, he, he does FGM, doesn't he? No, no, no. He has. He's never been involved in this campaign. I mean, as campaigner. Oh, is it AIDS he does? Um, I think so. I think he does. Oh, with, God. Yeah, I think he's involved in I the campaign. I think he is AIDS and poverty, isn't he? Not FGM. No, not FGM. But obviously, we would certainly well, you welcome. Well, should ask him. But he definitely. I can. I can. He's not involved in like, in this. He's campaign. not involved in no, this. No, definitely not. Have Bonner. you asked him though? No. No. Mm. Maybe I should. Well. Maybe no, I haven't asked might, him. Might. No, he's never been involved. Oh, I'd like never... to clarify that. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. Well, we don't need to talk about Bono anymore. He's no, <laughs> in no, this film. Not. His profile's big enough, isn't it? So, not Bono. Right. Mm. So, FGM's been illegal here since 1985. Yes. Over 66,000 women, I believe to be, have already been cut who are living here. Yeah. And there's 24,000 girls at risk now. Every year, yes. There's been no prosecution. No. Do you think that part of a problem with tackling it here in the UK is that British people sort of don't really know what it is? They've sort of heard that it's kind of a tradition, but that it's essentially sort of a foreign... Because um, we live in... Like, Britain is supposed to be one of the most tolerable countries in the world, tolerant, mm -hmm. racially tolerant, culturally that people maybe think, oh, it's a, like a, an African tradition, like an... Because like, we've got, like, Morris dancing here, which is, I don't know if you're... You might not have seen it if you what don't go Morris to... dancing? Villages and stuff. Well, it's, um, it's not little girls or anything like that. It's, um, it's normally about 12 middle-aged men. I had them at my wedding, actually. They were, like, the main entertainment for my wedding. 
So what was the relevance oh. of the Morris dance? Oh, yeah, so my point is, is that... Uh, do you think that British people, because they think it's a tradition, female cutting, that it's something that they should be allowed to sort of carry on? Because, like, we... They tried to stop Morris dancing. The, you know, the government, not the government, some people tried to stop it because it was dangerous. It's not that dangerous, they've just got some bells and hankies. But a lot of British people are like, no, 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 it's a tradition, we've got to hang on to this. So, no, I mean, I don't think we can compare, you know, female genital mutilation to dancing. I mean, that's just violence, full stop. So, I don't... They've got big... It's not the same thing, but they've also got these quite big, heavy sticks that they smash, and I think sometimes they... You know, they go, they go, so they're dancing with the bells and everything, ding, and the bells are making little noises, they're tied to their ankles. Yeah, I, I don't think you can make that comparison oh, no, to not... when women's genitals are being removed just because they're girls. So it's re I think we need to be careful what language we use. It is um, violence, so we really can't... No, I, I just meant that, I mean, they're obviously not comparable. I mean, I... I wouldn't have, you know, Morris dancing at my wedding if Ban Ki Moon had banned it. You know, you know. I'm just saying, in, in, in ter like it's not the same. I mean, of, of course, course it's not. Course. I mean, it's not the same. I no, mean, dance. Not at I mean, all. I personally like to dance. However, you can't compare dancing to female genital mutilation. No, I, I mean, wouldn't do that. It's violence, and I think we need to use the correct language. And I think in Britain, people have shied away from it because it is a horrific practice, obviously, yeah. but we can't... It's a complex issue, but we can't stay away from it as well. And it's happening to children more than anything. So I don't think it could be compared to a dance. That's Tomorrow's totally... Dancing. No, no. I, ju I just meant, well, you know, that they, because they might not know about it, they might just think, oh, it's a tradition like. No, there's Morris nothing dancing. traditional about FGM. People might use those terms when they try to excuse it. Yeah. However, it's not a tradition, it's violence on full stop. Do you think as well that, that maybe British people are scared to criticise it in case, like the Taliban, blow them up or something? Do you think people have that? Because the Taliban, they getting around, aren't they? There's quite a lot of British... This, this has nothing to do with the Taliban or any Sorry. extreme groups. What? I don't know why they asked about the Taliban. FGM has nothing to do with the Taliban. FGM is practised with all different communities, so it has nothing to do with the Taliban. I don't know why Taliban. that came up. Is it not? Oh, so it's not a religious... Practice. No, no, it's oh, not a religious oh. practice. No, no, no. It, oh, it's thought... practiced by people from different religious backgrounds, different class system. So, you know, different yeah, types it could, of it religious could be, people. Yeah, it could be from like yeah. Scientology and believers. Scientology. And all of those. Um, no, I don't. I don't think it's practiced in the Scientology religion. And believers. Believers. Who are the believers? They're. Um, I, it's not like a. You know, Justin Bieber, the singer. Justin Bieber. Belieber, isn't it? Justin Belieber? Belieber? He's that American singer. Yeah, I know who Justin Bieber they're, is. They're, that's what they call his followers, Beliebers. Beliebers. So that's his fans, that it's not a religion? Or, mm. or... I think they're, they're... I think they think he's like well, Jesus can... or something. They sort of worship him, so I think he might have said, mentioned it, or oh, perhaps he doesn't know. No. Do you think he knows that they're doing that? But does he know? Do you think he knows even what it is? I don't think so. I've, I've not been cut. I don't come from an FGM practicing community. I sometimes... In your documentary, there was a load of you survivors met up and you chat mm. about things. Mm -hmm. What I was thinking was, if there's someone within that group who, who hasn't been cut, are you... Do you, like, ignore them and... Oh, what's she doing here, you know? No, actually, I think there's a perception out there uh, we're the only ones who are, who are allowed to talk about it, but actually that's not the case. This is uh, a form of child abuse. It's yeah, one of yeah. the worst forms of violence 
a woman will ever experience. So everybody should talk about it. Do you think it. everyone should? Absolutely. Talk about it? And in, in documentary, actually, in that in that particular yeah, scene yeah. you're talking about, there yeah. was a girl was there? who didn't go through, and she talked about the struggles of being a girl who hasn't been cut and the stigma she endured oh, during her. So yeah, obviously, I would never ignore somebody just because I they haven't gone through. I mean, my daughter hasn't gone through it, so I'm not going to ignore my own child. Because, no. like for me, I. <clears throat> I'm not really involved. Like, I I grew up in Gloucester. Mm -hmm. So even though I didn't grow up with the threat of FGM, sort mm -hmm. of, I did grow up with the threat of Fred West, who's a mass murderer, and he just lived around the corner from me. So what I'm saying is if, if I wanted to be in your group, w would that count? Um, uh, I'm not sure why that question's actually relevant. Well, because you might look at me and think, oh, you're just... <coughs> Why are you here? You know, what, what have you got to bring to the table? I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying... No, I mean, you can, I mean, if you wanted to join our group, you don't even have to say oh, you're... Oh, really? No, no, you don't have to make up... Uh, you don't have to tell me that someone might so be was about to kill you. But okay. if you wanted to join the campaign, you can just join in. You don't have to... There was, we know there are bad don't men outside. You, but do you think that there might be people who say, oh, who's, who's this? white girl getting getting in on it um again I, w I want to clarify that fgm is not just black women that are affected by fgm so there are asian women and um, middle eastern women who who are black skin i mean white skinned so we can't oh. specifically and we've had um, white british women who came through our service um because they went to harley street to get design of vagina done and it went horribly wrong and we were the only service that could actually support them. So we're not saying oh, okay. there's a specifications of... Um, yeah, there isn't a, a particular image of how an FGM survivor looks like. Obviously, my face is out there most of the time, but there are a lot women who Western are different than me out there. Done yeah, yeah. Because of porn. It, yeah, they're vaginas. Unbelievable. I've noticed you don't want to keep pointing, I don't know. Well, I, I'm just a bit squeamish. I'm, it's not just, it's, I'm quite a squeamish, but like I get car sickness as well, and mm -hmm. I'm a bit, ugh. Okay. I'm just saying I might, I, I can't. I've, Are you feeling sick right now? Oh, I'm a, a bit, you know, <clears throat> just have a sip of water. Also, you know, I grew up in an Irish Roman Catholic, fam with, like we didn't even know we had genitals. So, because we weren't really allowed to talk about them. A anyway. I mean, that's not just an Irish thing. I think that's a universal... I mean, people are still scared to mention the word vagina or genitals. I think there's the fear of, uh, of the vagina, I would call it. It's out there, so it's not just an Irish thing. I think it's... Oh, is it? No, no, no. I mean, I do meet a lot of women who would always point. But I, again, when I'm doing this work, I think it's important to use the to right language. The word, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to do it with cancer all the time, didn't they? Oh, poor Mrs. Thingy down the road has got... Do you remember when people used to do that? And now just people say, oh, she's got cancer. But Is, like, it? Is that what they used to do with oh, cancer? Oh, in the 80s, yeah. You couldn't oh. say cancer. You'd have to go... <clears throat> OK, no, I did not know that. No, yeah. So no, I think for me it's important that we call it for what it is. What do you think about, um, OK, you know labiaplasty where they tidy everything up, the genitals, see, I'm trying... Oh. Anyway. Oh, God. Oh. <clears throat> you know, cos some women have them... We, we get all the trees pollarded in our road in like around this time of the year because they get too bushy and stuff. And the Hackney Council are like, oh, you know, get everything off and trim them so that the trees don't grow too. And I, it always makes me feel really sad, like to see my road full of all trees pollarded. To me, that's what labiaplasty is like. You know, they get everything off. There's nothing left by the end of it, is there? Oh, well, no. that's an interesting analogy to use. So, um, women who've been pollarded by, cho not pollarded, who have had labiaplasty. Yeah. Through choice. They come to you 
Yeah. Well, I, I want to make it clear, I don't think a woman who's had labiaplasty done, it's actually a choice. Because I've met, uh, I work with, um, I did some session with school girls and 14 year old girls were saying when they turned 16, and these are white English girls are saying they want to have, I remember one of them said I want to have my labias trimmed because my boyfriend said it was too long. So we really need to talk about the, um, are you okay? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, sorry, of course. Sorry, what are too long? Her labours were too long. Too her long. boyfriend made a comment that her labours were too long. So she, she thought, OK, I need to have them trimmed off. That's the word that she used. But he said they were too long. Yeah. So well, basically... How, how short did he want them then? I mean, that's, I mean, the point is not how short he wants. It's the fact that a young girl feels that she needs to alter her body for a boyfriend or a man. I mean, both sides, you know, we call one group barbaric, and FGM is a bar barbaric practice, don't get me wrong, but we can't say just because a, a particular girl has blonde blue uh, eyes, it's okay for her as a choice. It's not really a choice. Both of these girls want to satisfy men. That's what it comes back to. <sighs> Fucking ridiculous. No. Fucking ridiculous. The language is very important of it, isn't it? Though? Yeah, and I want to really stress that, you know, people need to use the right language like when we talk about... swear about it and stuff, do you mean? Oh, fucking sort it out, the home effort. Well, you don't you mean know, that Yeah, sort of I mean, you could, I mean, sometimes, you know, don't get me wrong, I've sworn here and there, but... I but when I are. say using the right language, I mean... We need to say it's child abuse, it's violence, and it's the vagina that's been mutilated. Do you have to keep saying vagina? Sorry. I well, suppose that's you what do. it is. Okay, you know, you sorry. wouldn't call a finger something else, would you? No. No. So, yeah. Okay. I'll I think I'll that's, with, yeah. that's really, that's where the problem really lies, know, isn't it? We yeah. can't even call it for what it is, and I think that's what we need to do. Um, so, sorry, what you were saying about the language, it's not that you're saying, are you fucking, you know, the government are cunts and stuff, you're saying, because they're not doing enough, you mean the language that they use when they talk about it. Is that what you mean? Well, there has been a confusion between um, female genital mutilation and some uh, campaigners or politicians would refer it to as cutting. Yes, and I've read that. Yeah. yeah they so don't like using mutilation. Um, for me, whether they like it or not, I know, I can only speak for myself and some of the women I work with, we haven't been cut. What we went through, it's mutilation. Because you wouldn't, if somebody got stabbed, you wouldn't say they were scratched, would you? So to me, it's quite demeaning when people say to me, oh no, Leila, you haven't been mutilated, you were just cut. So for me, that's very... However, if a FGM survivor wants to refer to herself... Sorry, yeah. If an FGM so wants to refer to herself as somebody who has been cut, then that's her choice. But I think professionals who are going to be working with the women, they need to use the appropriate language. And I think it should be up to the woman or the girl who's, gone, who's undergone FGM. She should decide what she should be referred to. So uh, people say to me, I was cut and not mutilated. You wouldn't like to be... No, I wouldn't like it. It's actually quite offensive, to be honest, because I'm being told something else has happened when I know what's happened to my own body yeah, and millions different. of other women. Yeah. It's like, if you think you don't like, you know, mutilate an apple, you know, when you have it... Well, you're cutting an apple. Exactly. Or, like, if, the, if this paper got me, I wouldn't say, oh, I've had a paper mu mutilation. Yeah. You wouldn't. It's cutting. Well, unless it was a really bad one. But I don't think even then I would. So, so if I said to you, I mean, the, I mean, to be honest, my question to politicians uh, or any campaign out there who's fearful of using the word mutilation, they really need to ask themselves that. I think, to me, there's a bit of imposing their own something that they're uncomfortable with. It sounds like to me, I could be wrong. Because maybe they don't like saying it. Well, if you don't say it, then how are you supposed to take that seriously? Because when, some, when someone's never, so let's just say someone's never heard of FGM, and I said, you know, they've cut something, you're not going to think, you think, oh, cutting, okay, then we could just put a bandage on it. And that's not really what's happened to me and many a other women. You don't want to put a bandage down there, do you? Oh, God. I'm just going to take 
Oh, that you couldn't, you couldn't bandage it even. I mean, for some women, it's literally there's nothing left. So you wouldn't call that cutting. <clears throat> no, you wouldn't. Um, uh, uh, awful business, isn't it? Yeah, it's a whole, I mean, it's a vile practice. It is a vile practice, but obviously we can't shy away from it. If, we need to talk about it. If they do change the um, words from mutilation to cutting, what would it be then? F. Oh, sorry, I know I get keep getting confused about this. It's so it would be F C. No, it's it'd F be F M C. No. No, it's F G M slash C. Pardon? F G M. Then you can put slash and slash. Put slash. You wouldn't put slash. Well, they do. Apparently, some of these documents there's a slash on it. It's got C at the end. What? So slash. Sorry, female slashing and cutting. No, and no, 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 no. It's. F oh, you mean a grum? Um, no, 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 no. It's F G M. Do you know what? Let's just stick to F G M C. Oh, OK. Yeah, female genital mutilation and cutting. And is that what they want to call it now? That's even more confusing for people, I think, isn't it? Well, I would think so, yeah, because it is mutilation. But for, but for me, again, I would like to make it very clear. If a woman has gone through it, wants to say she was cut, then that's her choice. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But I think we, we can't not also say it's not mutilation. That's where I have a problem with. Yeah. It is mutilation. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Hopefully we've raised a bit of FMG awareness. It's well, FGM. not FGM. Sorry? FGM. Female genital mutilation. Yes, it is. Yeah, you have yes. to say it in the right you order. You said that at the beginning. And it's important to say it right. I yeah. know. Yeah. It's just easier to say FMG. I think that's why I keep saying it. Sorry. Um, no, it's, it's just FGM, just... C. FGMC, yeah. If, if you want to, FGM or FGMC, slash. No, no. the slash comes just, just, between... Just, I would suggest you just stick to FGM. Okay. FGM. OK. Yeah. So hopefully we've cleared that up for yeah. people. I hope so, yes. Yeah. OK, thanks so much for talking to me today, Lena. Thank you for having me.